Uh, good afternoon and members of the media, thank you for your patience. We were waiting on a Senate vote and we won't keep your you too much longer. I'm Erin Neff from AARP. We are honored to have both senators with us today as we talk about this important issue. And I'd love to introduce you now to AARP's state president, volunteer, Charlie Shepard. Thank you so much. Charlie, take it away. Oh, thank you very much, Aaron. Um, good afternoon, Senator Cortez Masto and Senator Rosen and members of the Nevada community. My name is Charlie Shepard uh, and I am the AARP Nevada State President. And yes, I am a volunteer. I am here today as an advocate for AARP and its fight for lower prescription drug prices. Americans are fed up with paying three times what people in other countries pay for the same drugs. More than 4 million people across the country, including over 36,000 here in Nevada, are joining AARP to, to demand lower drug prices. AARP Nevada is delivering a petition to both Senator Cortez Masto and Senator Rosen, signed by over 36,700 Nevadans calling for Congress to act now and stop unfair drug prices. There will never be a better time to lower drug prices than the historic opportunity in front of Congress. Now it's time to get it done. In January, Big Pharma raised prices on 800 prescription medicines. It's outrageous. If consumer prices had risen as fast as drug prices over the last 15 years, gas would now cost $12.20 a gallon and milk would be $13 a gallon. Don't you think that would make headlines? Big Pharma is trying to scare lawmakers with misleading claims to stop them from allowing Medicare to negotiate lower prices. Congress needs to allow Medicare to negotiate with drug companies to lower prices. It would not only help to lower the inflation rate, but the 50 plus community would not have to worry about choosing between paying for groceries and paying for medicine they need. Our members have a message to our senators. Don't let pharma win. Lower drug prices now. Thank you very much. And I'm gonna uh, put up on, uh, for the benefit of uh, our um, attendees, the um, front pages of the um, petitions that we sent to uh, both uh, Senator Cortez Masto and Senator Rosen. And uh, behind them, it, it, I can't show the whole amount because there's over 900 pages on each one of these petitions with the 36,700 signatures on it. Uh, so this just kind of represents that we had a lot of people and we are expressing our concern about the prices of drugs. Thank you very much. And now I would like to turn it over to Senator Cortez Masto. Thank you. Charlie, thank you. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, let me get this off the screen real quick. Sorry sure. about that. There you go. And yeah, go ahead. Wonderful. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for, for joining uh, us today uh, to talk about bringing down the cost of, of prescription drug for seniors. I know uh, many Nevada seniors come face to face with this problem every time they're at the pharmacy. This is one of the top concerns I hear when I am home or in the letters and the emails and the calls that I get from Nevadans when I am in Washington. So first I have to thank AARP and the, what was it, 36,700 Nevadans who are part of this petition. This is such an important issue for us and we need to make progress on, on this issue. And we have really should have done this. It's been a long time coming. Uh, I will tell you, uh, I have been a tireless advocate for the idea that we need to give Medicare more power to negotiate uh, for better rates for patients. I sit on Senate finance. This is an area that I uh, have uh, in the past supported and will continue to support how we lower costs for uh, our seniors on Medicare, including allowing for the negotiation of prescription drugs. I also know the Secretary of Health and Human Services uh, needs the tools that will let him get fair prices from pharmaceutical companies. That's why it's important we allow this negotiation. Uh, and let's be clear, uh, fair prices will let drug companies um, continue to innovate without gouging seniors or federal taxpayers. Uh, we can do this without limiting patients' access to drugs. 
uh, I don't support that and that's not going to happen. We can still allow uh, negotiation to occur, occur without any of that happening. I've also pushed for penalties that would keep drug companies from increasing prices faster than the rate of inflation. That is legislation that I supported in committee and Senate Finance Committee last Congress, still support it now, still something that we should be doing. Uh, and I'm gonna continue to do uh, everything I can to keep working to bring down those drug costs for Nevadans. I also know, um, and, and also joined by my colleague here, Senator Rosen, we're both on a bill to cap patients out of pocket costs for insulin at $35 per month. Uh, it just passed the house with bipartisan support. Uh, more than one in four seniors in Clark County has diabetes. No one should have to ration life-saving medication. Um, I, I've seen that in my own family with my grandmother who had to make the decision whether she could put food on the table or pay for her drugs. She was living off of social security after she retired. No, no senior, nobody should have to go through that. That's why it is important for prescription drug negotiation to be allowed so we can lower costs for seniors so they can get the medication when they need it. And that's what this is about. So I thank you, AARP Nevada. Thank you for the so many Nevadans that have signed this petition uh, and look forward working with you. Your voices are instrumental in helping us get this done. We need to get it done. It is so important. Uh, one person who has been in this fight with me um, it has Senator Rosen. She's an incredible advocate on behalf of the state of Nevada. I am uh, so lucky that I get to partner with her on this issue and uh, get to watch her in action every day as she fights for Nevadans as well to lower their costs. Jackie? There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. Thank you, Catherine. And it is uh, an honor to work with you. We fight together for all these things, for seniors, uh, for our kids, for our parents, all of it. And it's our honor to do so. And uh, Charlie, I just want to thank you for your volunteerism. Let me tell you, being a volunteer, it's one of the best things you can do, the best way to spend your time and, and how you can advocate for others. So we really appreciate the incredible work you've done to bring uh, this petition and along, working along everyone here at AARP uh, to keep America's seniors informed and particularly in this fight for lowering prescription drugs. And um, like I said, thank you for the petition. And like Catherine said, we are committed to doing everything that we possibly can to make sure that prescription drugs are affordable for all Nevadans. It means addressing the high cost of prescription medications. It means passing bills to lower the cost. It means finally, finally letting Medicare negotiate those drug prices. There's issues that matter to our seniors and our families all across Nevada. And those are the issues that Catherine and I are working on that matter to us. And so I'm hopeful that we can pass a package this year that addresses this issue, finally reigns in the skyrocketing prices because we just don't have any more time to waste. We have to take action. And like Catherine said, we're proud to have helped introduce legislation that helps to cap the price of insulin at $35 a month. No one, no one should ever have to make the choice between life-saving medication and rent or food, whether they're a senior or not, it is nothing could be more important. And diabetes affects so many families. And uh, Catherine's on finance, but I'm on the Senate committee, the health committee that oversees health issues. It's health, education, labor, and pensions. And I introduced legislation to provide federal support for nonprofit companies, for prescription drugs, and for their device manufacturers, those operating in that nonprofit space is another way to bring down costs, reduce competition, and uh, provide better access and service to Nevada families and our seniors. And all I can say is this, Catherine and I, every day we're committed to lowering costs for our Nevada seniors, for all of our families, everybody we know works so hard, and we want to be sure that they have the tools to live a full life, a healthy life, to survive and thrive through all of this. And uh, it's really important. Prescription drugs is one that affects everybody. 
And so I just appreciate you, Charlie. Again, your volunteerism, appreciate you AARP for everything you're doing, your advocacy on so many issues, not just in Nevada, but across the nation. And I think I get to turn it back over to you. I'm gonna, this is our, we're, we're swinging in the Zoom room. I'm gonna turn it back over to you. Uh, you're, you're on the left side of my screen, Charlie. Very good, thank you very much. And um, I think Aaron, uh, can you uh, take questions now? Yes, if uh, reporters would like to uh, ask a question, please put it in the chat or uh, raise your hand, whichever is easiest for you there. Uh, we'd love to see the question in the chat so we can better direct it. Aaron, we have one raised hand uh, on yeah. Michael Lyle. Mike, Michael Lyle with uh, Nevada Current. Uh, what is your question? Hi, thanks so much for uh, having this event today. Um, so Political recently reported that Republican Senator Chuck Grassley said uh, that essentially if Republicans take hold of the House of Congress, it would be less likely to pass drug persistent, per, uh, anything to lower per, drug per, prescription prices. I was wondering if either one of the senators wanted to comment on that and how this upcoming election could affect the possibility of having the power to address high costs of prescription drugs. I, I can address it. Happy to jump in because the Republicans already have uh, prevented us from negotiating prescription drug costs. Uh, under the previous ad, uh, administration with the Republicans in control, as I said on Senate Finance, we actually put forward a bipartisan package about lowering health care costs. One of the things we put forward was a vote on prescription drug, drug negotiation and the Republicans refused to support it, so it didn't get done. So it's true. Um, and that's why it is so important that we really focus on and our, your voices are necessary in, in, to uh, come forward to Congress and demand the American public rightfully uh, demands this uh, negotiation to happen. It will lower prescription drug costs. and. I, and I also know after talking with experts on Senate uh, finance, we're able to do this through Medicare, it sets the tone and, and uh, uh, my goal would be that it happens to the private sector as well, that we're actually lowering costs uh, for everyone um, and allowing that negotiation to occur. Thank you so much, Senator. Uh, Barry Gold, AARP Nevada's advocacy director has one point to add. Uh, on that very question. Um, yeah. Um, that's why AARP remains laser focused on urging the Senate to pass the comprehensive prescription drug reform package already passed by the House that will finally let Medicare negotiate for lower prices, will cap out-of-pocket costs for millions of American seniors, as well as cap monthly insulin costs. AARP members have listened for decades um, as politicians have promised these common sense reforms. And it's really time for US senators to keep those promises to their voters. Thank you, Barry. Uh, are there any other questions from members of the media? You can put questions in the chat or raise your hand. I've never known the media to be this bashful. I do have another question if I don't know if I can go, go ahead. for it. <laughs> uh, so this is Michael again from Nevada Current. So uh, you both mentioned the legislation that passed the House last week that caps the price of insulin at $35 for private insurance or Medicare. I was wondering what else is being done to potentially address the hole created for those who don't have insurance that rely on insulin? Uh, well, I believe there's some uh, other packages being negotiated here but with Senator Shaheen and Senator Collins uh, working uh, to 
bolster up that bill to cap insulin at $35, the uh, bill that Senator Warnock introduced with so many of us, Catherine's on it, I'm on it. But I would say, especially for your last question, that Senator Grassley did say something pretty telling. And he said that the Republicans weren't interested in voting on these things. So the time is now, while we're here, we care about what happens to our seniors, to our families, to our parents, our grandparents, and our friends. And so we will do everything that we can to be sure we get, whether it's a standalone bill for $35 insulin, whether it's comprehensive bill, like the bill coming from the House, or some of the other things that Senator Shaheen and Collins are trying to work on that also lower prescription prices. We're waiting to uh, uh, hear about that uh, because that will add some bipartisan um, uh, factors to that bill and, and really try to increase what that does because there's more prescriptions than just insulin that people take. And we wanna be sure that we're doing as much as we can. And really the crux of the matter is too, is that if we allow the Secretary of Health and Human Services uh, to negotiate directly with drug companies, that's gonna be a big boom for seniors. It's gonna set the tone for drug costs all across the board. It's something that is probably one of the highest costs that people have. And I can tell you that we're working hard on it every day while we're here uh, to try to convince our colleagues uh, um, on the other side of the aisle to do the same. Thank you so much again, Senator. Thank you, Michael, for the questions. And this is going to wrap our press conference. If you have any additional questions, you can email me directly. Thank you so much, Senator Rosen. Thank you so much, Senator Cortez Masto. I know how busy you are. We respect your time and thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.